What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Now today I thought I'd show you guys my whole vintage t-shirt slash outerwear collection. Now I've been collecting vintage pieces for a couple years now and just like sneakers I kind of cycle through them. If I don't wear one too often I go ahead and sell it and buy something else. So today I'm just going to show you guys the ones that I kept and the reason behind it and why I bought it and where I bought it and all that type of stuff. Anyway, I'm just rambling. I'm going to go ahead and go over every vintage t-shirt I have and then we'll go ahead and get into the sweaters slash outerwear. So let's go ahead and get into it. So getting into the first t-shirt and one of my favorites, we have this vintage 1992 Pearl Jam t-shirt. So as you can see on the front, it says Pearl Jam. It says don't give up. And on the back is where it says Pearl Jam Europe, Europe, European Summer Tour 1992. And then underneath that, it has Rock in the Ring, Pink Pop, um, Berlin. Uh, I'm not going to read all of these, but you get the gist of it. I really love this t-shirt right here. I don't really like white vintage t-shirts because as you can see from this one, they get pretty yellow. Luckily, this one isn't too bad, but there is some yellow spots on this tee, which I dislike. And of course, you got some stains right here and whatnot, but that's bound to happen. It comes with the t-shirt. For the tag, it's a Fruit of the Loom tag, tagged extra large, but this one fits me perfect. It's a nice medium, has that nice boxy fit. The fade on this is pretty nice. It's not great because it's a white t-shirt, but I mean, it is what it is. Definitely one of my grails, and I'm sure a lot of people would love to have this t-shirt, so... I'm definitely happy to have this one. Now, I paid, how much did I pay for this t-shirt right here? I think I paid about 80 bucks for this on Depop. I could be wrong. I could be getting the price mixed up, but 80 bucks for this, not bad at all. I think he had it listed for like something crazy, like 120 and I was not paying that. So when you see something you want listed on like Depop or Grailed, they might have it listed at like a dumb overpriced price, but go ahead and wait it out or you can just go ahead and ask them to lower the price Half the time, they'll take the deal anyway. Next up, we have this um, Grateful Dead t-shirt, this tie-dye tee. This one is from uh, 1992. Very fire. The fade on this is amazing. Like, it's probably one of the best faded t-shirts I have. Like, if you've seen this in person, you would actually get it. I don't think the camera's doing it justice. But just take that purple, blue, white, and you have, like, the skull there. It gives me, like, Travis Scott, like merch vibes but you know obviously he's probably inspired by these guys on the back you have a summer tour and then on the back bottom here it says 92 super fire super nice and faded um the tag is a rock'em group tag now i love this t-shirt right here i think i got it from around to new york that was my first time going around to new york so you know i had to pick something up but picking this up i i think it was a little overpriced i think i paid like 90 bucks for this which I mean, it is what it is. I had to pick something up just for making the trip, but super fire t-shirt right here. The colors on this is amazing. Pops super nice. Fits a little small, but I'll still rock it. It is what it is. All right, guys, next one up, we have this Sublime t-shirt. Now, this is from the year 2002, so nothing too old, but it is a really nice, 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 I'm telling you, one of the nicest fitting shirts I have, like no lie. This thing is super boxy and it's nice and oversized. Like if every shirt I had fit like this, I'd be happy. But as you can see, it has the sun right here. You have Sublime and Red on the top. Nothing on the back of the t-shirt. Now for the tag, it's a M and O Knits heavyweight tag. Now this one is tagged extra large, but it fits like that medium slash large range. So like I said, the Vince's t-shirt sizes are just like all over the place, but definitely one of my favorite t-shirts. I wish this one was a little more faded, but that just comes with wear and wash and all that. So, you know, maybe I'll speed up the process somehow. But very dope graphic. I always love the Sublime graphic. And this t-shirt's very dope. You don't really see much like it. I mean, you see the reprints, of course, but nothing like this one right here. Let's go ahead and jump to the next one. All right, guys, next up, we're going to go ahead and get into the sports t-shirts. As you can see, we got the Philadelphia Phillies 1993 World Series Champions t-shirts. Now, this was before I was even born. The shirt is older than me. On the bottom, it says Trench 1993. The graphic, I love. The fit is super nice. It's nice and faded. It has a Trench Ultra tag, and it's tagged at extra large. So I think for vintage tees, extra large is probably perfect for me. It fits that nice medium slash large range, but nothing on the back. Now, there is like a small little hole right here, 
probably can see. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. But still, very fire shirt. I get a lot of wear out of this one. Nice fade, nice wash, nice graphic. The cracking isn't too bad for as old as the shirt is, but still very dope. Next one up, we have this Philadelphia Eagles Super Bowl Champions t-shirt. Now, it's not like, it's like a long sleeve actually. It's like a mock neck because the little collar right here, it's pretty high up and it's super cozy, super comfortable. Um, size extra large and it fits me perfect. The long sleeve is just amazing. I wish they made long sleeves built like this nowadays, but the fit, it's just amazing. Like I have nothing like it besides this one right here and I'm super grateful to have this one in the collection. Nothing on the back, just a plain long sleeves. You have the um, old Eagles logo right here, which I really like. So very fire. And there is a couple holes like right here and on the sleeve, but I mean, it is what it is. I can't have it. Perfect. I wish I knew what year this was made. I've never actually checked, but it has to be like from the 90s. Like the feel of this, like, you know, the graphic and all that has to be from the 90s. This is my guess. One thing I definitely want more of is vintage long sleeves slash mock necks, but they are hard to come across. So when you find them, they're kind of going for a ridiculous price. This one I found at the Goodwill. I think it was like three bucks. So I had to scoop it up. All right, guys. So next t-shirt up, we have another Philadelphia Phillies t-shirts. I think I like the sports t-shirts better than the rock band t-shirts. That's just my opinion though. So as you can see, we got this Philadelphia Phillies t-shirts. This is a National League Champions t-shirt, 1993. So as you can see from the graphic, it's a pretty good condition. The colors pop, super nice. Like I said, it's a starter t-shirt. So you got the starter tag right here. This is tagged the size of large, fits me perfect. On the sleeve right here, you have a little starter patch which is always a nice touch. I love when they have little starter patches on the sleeve. Nothing on the back, but the fade on this is super nice. You know, I can't complain about this one right here. I think I scooped this one from the Goodwill for about, I wanna say like four bucks maybe. Sometimes they tax on the t-shirts, but when I once I saw this one, I couldn't pass it up. I had to scoop it. You know, it adds to my Philadelphia Phillies vintage t-shirt collection. Then we have another one of my favorites here. We have an Orlando Magic Shaquille O'Neal t-shirt. The graphic on this is freaking amazing. Like I love this graphic right here, that old school graphic. It's a nutmeg t-shirt. So you have the little nutmeg tag on the bottom with official licensed product NBA on the bottom. Now the tag is of course not mag like I said, this is a size large gold tag. The best part about this t-shirt though is that it is a double sided. Look how sick this is guys. As you can see you have Shaq right there, that old school Shaq and the Orlando Magic's jersey. You have Orlando Magic on the front, Shaquille O'Neal, then it has like his birthplace, Newark, New Jersey. Damn, I didn't know he was from Newark, New Jersey. That's not too far from me, but anyway, as you can see, it says position center. It has like the NBA logo, nutmeg logo. Yeah, this t-shirt is fire. This reminds me of like an old NBA game, which is why I really like the graphics. So definitely keeping this one in my collection for a while. But guys, I'm not opposed to selling anything. So if you want to hit me up for any t-shirts, go ahead and hit me up on Instagram. You know, DM me. Maybe I'll let one go. All right, guys, last Philly shirt, I promise. You're probably sick of seeing Philadelphia Phillies t-shirts, but that's where I'm from. That's what I find at the thrifts. So, I mean, bear with me. This is the last one I'm showing you guys, though, for the Phillies t-shirts. But all red Philadelphia Phillies, probably my favorite out of the three. So, as you can see, you got the Phillies logo. This is from 1993. I think the other two are from 92. It's from 93. On the back, nothing. But it is a starter t-shirt. You have the starter patch on the side of the t-shirt right there, as you guys can see. But super dope t-shirt. I'm glad I found this in something other than black because black gets kind of redundant sometimes. So I think this red was really nice. It's nice and faded, it's not like too much of a deep red. You can tell it's an old t-shirt just by the graphic, the cracking, the feel, the look. It's an amazing t-shirt overall. Now, I forget how much I paid for this one, but it couldn't be more than like five bucks max. All right guys, next t-shirt up. Now, I don't even know what this t-shirt is. I don't know if it's a band, a club, or anything, but it has this little sin and crazy deck of cards flaming with a skull on it. I'll show you guys the back of the t-shirt, which is my favorite. It's the same logo, but just much bigger. So as you can see, it says sin and crazy deck of cards, the skull, the fire on the back. Now, I don't know what this t-shirt represents, if it's a band, if it's, I have no idea, 
but I never really looked into it. But this is actually one of my favorite t-shirts. The fit on this is really good. It has like that nice boxy fit. The fade is really nice. The little print right here, it's very cracky, just like on the back. So it gives it that little vintage feeling. And then on the back, I mean on the tag, it says sitting crazy. So I don't know, maybe I'll look into it. I just never really found the time to look into it. I don't really care too much. I just really like the graphic and the look of the t-shirt. Now I think that I got this for like, what? Maybe three bucks on Grail. Like it was a steal price. Like the guy just wanted to get rid of it. I feel like no one was buying it. So I was like, you know what? I might as well scoop it. The fade, the look, the logo is very dope. So I went ahead and scooped it. You know what I mean? All right, so next up, one of my newest pickups. I think I got this like last week or something, but it is this vintage Harley Davidson t-shirt. Nothing too crazy. The, the fade isn't really there yet. It has like that still like pure black, almost pure black color, but still I thought it was very dope. On the front, you have the Harley Davidson logo, Harley Davidson motorcycles, all that jazz. You have the Harley tag, size large. I haven't even worn this one yet. On the back of the t-shirt, you have Washington DC, um, legendary motorcycles, you know, all that USA in gold. Now, I'm not sure how old this t-shirt is. It might not even be that old, but I thought it looked cool. I thought it was vintage. It still might be, I have no idea, but still a very dope shirt. Um, pretty simple, pretty plain, and you know, I don't really have too many Harley Davidson vintage t-shirts, so I thought why not just pick it up. I think I got it from Goodwill for about like maybe three bucks, if that. All right, so next up, I think I picked this one up the same day as the Harley t-shirt, but as you can see, this is a Russell Athletics t-shirt now there's no graphic on the front or on the back but the way just this thing feels guys like i'm not even like joking this thing feels amazing it's super soft lightweight you have the front pocket right here the only thing you have is this russell athletic tag right there it says pro cotton and you don't really see too many russell athletic t-shirts like this this is the first time i found a vintage Russell t-shirt so I was super hyped about this one the fit on this is amazing which is why I picked it up the wash is like it's a little grape um, pale blue pale purple t-shirt so I went ahead and scooped it size large as you can see the tag right there super dope t-shirt I mean I figured why not it's an everyday basic t-shirt you can throw on under like a jacket flannel or a hoodie so I thought why not go ahead and grab it so let's go ahead and move on to the next t-shirt next one up we have this NASCAR T this is like very old I mean I picked it up a long time ago not that this is like a very 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 old t-shirt but I picked it up a while ago this one is this awesome bill t-shirt NASCAR um does it say the year it doesn't say the year on the bottom but I don't really wear this one too much it just kind of fits a little big but still a very nice um, graphic on the front nothing on the back as you can see someone ripped the tag off so I don't really know what size this is but still very dope t-shirt if I could wear it I would it's just it doesn't fit me too well next up we have this Eric Gordon t-shirt I think it is that's his name right Eric Gordon I'm I'm, I'm terrible I should probably know that but as you can see you got the dew point car you got destiny in the front you got Gordon in yellow which is very dope on the back is where this t-shirt signs you have the nice big logo eric gordon destiny you know have his little quote or what you have it and then it has him right there you know looking all fly and whatnot no tag on the um inside so but as you can see very nice vintage t-shirt the feel is very nice the fade is very nice all around good and if you have ever been to thrift stores like you know if you actually go like frequently there's no way you haven't found an Eric Gordon t-shirt by now. These are all over the place. I even had, like I don't wear this one at all. It's a vintage Power Rangers t-shirt, the Green Ranger. Third best Ranger, but we'll leave it at that. Not up for discussion. As you can see, you got the nice Ranger t-shirt. You have the, you know, Mighty Morphin logo, whatever the heck you want to call it. On the bottom, it's super faded. I can't even tell what year this is from. But still, I should actually wear this. kind of cool. Next one up, we have a vintage. This is Santa Cruz, correct? Yes, yeah, Santa Cruz t-shirt right here. When I saw this in the thrift, my uh, little younger self, skater self, cried a little bit when I saw this. Um, it says Tokyo, New York, Santa Cruz on the bottom. On the back, you have the huge graphic. You have the skull, crossbone, skateboard logo. You have Santa Cruz on the bottom. You know, it's a very dope t-shirt for any skater. I mean, how could you not like this t-shirt if you like to skate? Um, it has an NHS tag. Don't know what that is, but the fade on this is amazing. The wash, 
the everything, the graphic, but the only bad thing about this t-shirt is it fits hella short, like it fits like a men's small, which kind of sucks, but I still really do like this t-shirt. Maybe I'll let it go one day, maybe not, but still fire, love this t-shirt right here. All right guys, next up, getting into the outerwear, we have this vintage Adidas equipment sweater type knitwear. Um, garment i guess you can say as you can see this nice velvety maroon on the top um you have the black adidas equipment in the little chest area you have the little zipper here which is fully functional on the inside i don't know if you guys can see the tag um yeah i know i got some tag buffs out there but the tag says adidas equipment you know i'm not even going to get into all that on the back nothing but let me go ahead and zip this up before this thing falls but very dope thing right here. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? On the side. Oh, here it is. On the side of the sleeve, you have the green Adidas logo little patch right there. This is actually a very fire piece that I'm super happy to have acquired. Um, you know, there's really nothing like this out right now from Adidas, especially this look and feel. This just screams the 90s to me. Next up, found this one the same day I found the other one. Now, I guess some dad just like dropped all his old stuff off and this was part of his collection. But as you can see, almost the same type of vibe, but it's a little less more like quality, I would say. This one, very nice zipper on the side. You have the Adidas logo, nothing on the sleeves and nothing on the back of the thing besides this little, never mind, it's not there, it's on the other one. But as you can see, very nice vintage blue on the side of the ribbing right here you have the three stripes um as well on this side right here i don't know if you guys can see that um there you go bada boom bada bang this one is super fire love this one right here i definitely need to wear it more but like i said hopefully sean witherspoon makes Adidas, you know bring stuff like this back because i really like this stuff right here um ykk zipper not sure if you guys care or not but Wanted to throw that out there. All right, guys, getting into the outerwear slash jackets, we have this Green Bay Packers jacket. I'm not a Packers fan, but I thought the color blocking on this jacket was really dope. You have the Green Bay Packers right there with a the little football all embroidered. On the back, you have the huge G embroidered right there. Very nice touch on the little um, zipper tag hang thing. It's a champion, so that's pretty dope. Pro line jacket on the sleeve. Um, what else? We got a champion logo on this side right here. Very dope jacket, very well made. You have the pro line um, tag right here. This is a size large. The next jacket right here, this is a big boy, heavy duty type jacket. This one is a Minnesota Vikings jacket. It's like, it's like satin almost, it feels amazing. But as you can see, you have the embroidered Vikings right there on the sleeve. You have a little yellow stripe. That's on both sleeves, of course. Um, on the back of the jacket, you have the Vikings logo, which has always been my favorite logo since I was a kid. I don't know why, I just always love the Vikings logo. I thought it looked pretty dope. Still, it's a nice jacket. I mean, it's like super heavy. Like, I'm not even playing. Like, this thing is freaking heavy duty. It's probably hella expensive when it came out. Let's go ahead and get into the next one. All right, guys, next one up, we have one of my grails or one of my favorite pieces. We have the Super Bowl 1997 um super bowl logo athletics jacket windbreaker type thing the color blocking on this is fire it just screams that old vintage look you have the teal the purple the black on the bottom like bro this thing goes crazy on the back you have super bowl and purple which i love you have the xxi you have logo athletics up by the neck area same color blocking on the bottom you have the black Bro, this thing's actually one of my favorite jackets I ever have found in my entire life. On the um, side, on the sleeve, you have the um, Sunday, January 26, 1997 Super Bowl patch. This thing's huge. It's nice and quality. On the bottom, it says New Orleans, Louisiana Superdome. So someone must have gotten this from the uh, actual stadium which is crazy to think about that it's in my possession right now like it's just wild that's why i love vintage pieces on the sleeve you have the little logo athletics right here i've had many people trying to um buy this off me i don't know i'm just scared to let this one go i really like this one right here the back is my favorite like this thing goes crazy all right boys last piece up we have another windbreaker now from the from the looks of it from distance it looks like a normal windbreaker 
but this is actually a Givenchy vintage windbreaker. No lie, I'll show you guys the tags right now. I hope this is real, but let me get some close-ups for you guys. All right, so as you can see, you have the vintage Givenchy logo right here. It says Givenchy Sportswear, I believe, on the top tag right here on the little hang zipper thing you have the Givenchy logo. Now that's the only branding on this jacket besides the tag of course you have the little Givenchy tag hopefully it picks that up. Oh and one more little detail you have the Givenchy logo on the button and you have Givenchy on the other side of the button as well so I mean you know, I'm not sure guys, I'm not sure. Hopefully this thing is real. Like I said, that's the only branding. You have the branding here on the buttons and on this little thing. And of course the tag, there is nothing on the back. It's all red with some black or gray acid shade and then some purple, but very fire piece. Like, I don't know. I hope this thing is real. I wish someone can legit check this for me. I just really don't know. Maybe I can find someone, but still very dope piece. I mean, if it's real, that's amazing. If not, who cares? I'm gonna rock it anyway. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Let me know what's the most crazy piece you found in the thrift or, you know, Deep Hopper Grilled. Any finches steel you have, let me know in the comments below. And I know you guys are bummed this video is ending, but do not worry. There's plenty of other video. Damn, I just spit everywhere. There's plenty of other videos for you guys to watch. Go ahead and check out my channel. I have tons of videos. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button while you're down there. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you watched all the way up to this point, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.